Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about D, D A algorithm. It stands for Digital Differential Analyzer. Now, before I start to tell you how this algorithm works, let's talk about why this algorithm is used at all. So, D D A algorithm is used to generate computer graphics. Specifically, it helps in identifying pixels that we can illuminate to draw a line on the computer screen. So for example, I have a computer screen like this and I want to draw a line from one point to another point, then I can identify the pixel and their address which are required to generate this entire line. Now with this understanding, let's talk about why, how does this DDA works. So I'll focus on the word differential, which you might have heard refers to the rate of change. Now, in our case, the rate of change is going to be the slope of the line. Now, since we are talking about uh, the slope, this algorithm is also used to generate line on the screen. And the slope over here is basically given by the change in y coordinates given by delta y with reference to the change in x coordinate given by delta x. Now, you might have heard about the equation of line given by y equals to mx plus c. Now, in this case, this m represents the slope of the line. Now, in order to identify the slope of the line and calculate its value, over here, we'll be interested in the coordinates of the starting point and ending point. So, let's say the coordinates of the starting point goes like x0 and y0 and that of the ending point goes like xn and y n, then I can calculate this slope, which is given by delta y by delta x, simply by substituting the values y n minus y naught over x n minus x naught. Now, why this thing becomes important that we'll see subsequently. But remember, the first step in any of the DD algorithm is to find out the slope of the line. Now, once you calculate the slope of the line, which obviously is given by this equation, the value of slope can go somewhere either greater than zero or it can be somewhere less than zero. If I talk about how physically this line looks, so a line which is going something like this in the upward direction. This will give you a slope greater than zero, while on the other hand, a line which goes something like this on the downward side will give you a slope less than zero. Now, in this case, we are going to talk about the slope of line which is greater than zero. And again, we are going to divide this into two categories. The slope of line is either less than or equal to one or the slope of line greater than or equal to 1. Now, if you guys remember it from your high school, the slope of line basically shows you uh, uh, that 10, 45 degree is 1. So, when you talk about slope of line, it is representing you theta, the value of theta. So, this can be represented as the value of theta less than or equal to 45 degree and the value of theta greater than 45 degree. So, in this way, we are going to talk about these two slopes. Now, let's take these cases individually. So, the main algorithm, as I told you, we have, we are going to talk about m to be greater than 0 and we are going to consider it into two cases. The first case is when the value of m that you have obtained earlier is less than or equal to 1. The second case will be greater than 1. So, let's talk about the less than case first. So, in this case, the next point that is x i plus 1 is given by x i, the existing point, incre incremented by 1. For the initial point, it will go like if you have starting point to be x 0 or x naught, the x 1 will be x naught plus 1. Similarly, for y i plus 1, that is the next coordinate of y, it will be the existing coordinate plus the value of slope that you have obtained. Now, in this case, 
uh, the starting point that is y1 will, we will depend on y0 plus m. Now, this was the case when the value of slope is less than or equal to 1. Talking about the case when the slope value of slope is greater than 1, in that case, the next point i plus 1 is given as xi plus 1 by m. So, if you want to calculate the first point, it depends on the initial point plus the reciprocal of this slope. Similarly, for y i plus 1, it goes like yi plus 1. So if you want to obtain the first point, it goes like y0 plus 1. Now, the important thing that you need to analyze or you can observe from these two algorithms is that when m is less than or equal to 1, x is incremented by 1. While when m is greater than 1, instead of incrementing x, we increment y by 1. So, this is the basic panda that you need to remember and you can do it uh, and you can remember it always how this TD algorithm works. Now, to understand it better, to understand in a more feasible way, let's look into some example how we can implement these algorithms. So let's say I have a question where I need to find out the coordinates of the pixel on the screen that will form the line from 1, 3 to 4, 9 using DD algorithm. Now, if you notice, this becomes your starting point that is x0, y0. And this becomes your ending point, let's say xn, yn. So I got these two points. Uh, if you guys remember it from the starting of this video, the first step is always to calculate the slope. Now, slope in this case, a case will be delta y over delta x given by y on y n over y naught upon x n minus x naught, which if I substitute the values will become 9, y n is 9 and y naught is 3. So, 9 minus 3 over x n is 4 and x naught is 1. So, this will become 6 by 3 or 2. Now, if you guys notice, that the value of slope in our case is 2, which is obviously greater than 1. So, the algorithm that we are going to use, we are going to increment y with 1 and we are going to increment x with 1 by m. Now, just to make it a bit clear, in our case, 1 by m is going to be equal to 1 by 2, which is equal to 0.5. So, we will be incrementing x with 0.5 and y with 1. Now, the best way to identify all the pixels in a single go is to form a table like this. Now, what this table goes for is this table identifies the number of points that we are going to solve and how we obtain these points. So, I'll explain them one by one. First of all, let's say we are talking about starting point. So, starting point in our case, uh, the x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate is 3. So, this becomes our point 1, 3 for the starting case and there is no need to round off. Uh, so I'll just write down 1, 3. The second case, in the second case, if you guys remember, we are supposed to find out x i plus 1 by m for the x and for y, y is going to be incremented by 1. So in our case, 1 by m was 0. 0.5. So simply I can write down x i plus 0. 0.5. And y i is going to be incremented by 1. So let's find out the points. The first point will become 1.5. Uh, and in case of y, I'll increment it by 1. That is 4. The second point is going to become, again, incrementing by 0.5. It will become 2 and 5. Similarly, 2.5, 6, 3, 7, 3.5, 8, and I'll be just using it over here to write down that my final point is point number 6, which is 4 and 9. Now, if you guys remember it from the question, the final point that we are supposed to reach was 4, 9. 
but this is not the answer that we are supposed to get. So what I'll be doing is I'll be clubbing them together to find out my final answer. So the uh, first point became 1.5 comma 4. But the fundamentals of computer graphics says that the address of pixel can never be a decimal. So it has to be an integer. So we'll be rounding it off, which gives us the value 2, 4. Second case was 2, 5. So there is no need to round it off. So we'll get 2, 5. The third case goes like 2.5 and 6. In this case, if I round the x uh, coordinate, it becomes 3, 6. Then 3, 7 as it is. Now 3.58 basically becomes 4, 8. And the final coordinate, which is obviously my ending point, it goes to 4, 9, which is my final answer. So the last column gives me the final address of the pixel that I need to need to glow in order to generate a line. Now, with this example, we'll have one more example where the slope is less than one. So let's see the another example. Now, the value in this example is quite similar to the previous one, especially the starting point, which is same as the previous one, but the end point becomes 5, 5. So in this case, if I try to calculate the slope, which is y n minus y naught over x n minus x naught, it becomes five minus three over five minus one. So this becomes two over four or one by two, which is nothing but equal to 0.5. Now, so if you observe this case, our slope is 0.5, which is less than one. So as per the earlier algorithm, in this case, the x will be incremented by one and y will be incremented by the value of slope that is 0.5. Right. So again, doing the same thing on the table, I'll go to the table now and try to identify the points. So the value of x in this case is going to be xi plus 1. And the value of y coordinate in this case is going to be yi plus m. In order to avoid confusion, just you can simply understand that xi and yi represents you the previous coordinates. In this case, the value of m is 0.5. So I'll start from the starting point where no change is required. The starting point is 1, 3. This is my final point and there is no need to round off as well. So I'll just write down 1, 3. The first point in X, I need to increment by 1. So I'll get 2. And Y, I need to increment by 0.5. So this will become 3.5. In terms of coordinate, it becomes 2, 3.5. And as mentioned earlier, we cannot have this integers. So I'll just round it off to 2, 4. Second, uh, uh, the point second, I'll get increment X by 1 y by 4, y will become 4. So I'll get 3 comma 4. There is no need to round off. So final point is 3, 4. The next point, again, x becomes 4 incremented by 1. y becomes 4.5. So the point is 4 comma 4.5. After rounding off, it becomes 4, 5. The final one is 5. And on this side also I'll get 5. So I get 5 comma 5, which is obviously my final point as well. So I need to stop my calculations over here. So I got these five coordinates of the pixels, which I glow. I'll be getting the line from 1, 3 to 5, 5. So this is how the DD algorithm works for both the slopes. Either it is less than 1 or it is greater than 1. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.